UAG. Good old UAG. I've loved this company forever, but today I'm calling them out. I'm calling them out. This is the iPhone XS Max. This is the iPhone 13 Pro Max, okay? I got this beautiful case from UAG. And uh, yeah, it's beautiful. It's carbon fiber, it's black. I like the military grade style cases. But we've got one problem. We've got one problem. It will not allow my phone to wirelessly charge. It will not allow it at all. Now, the 10s Max, no problem. I can wirelessly charge with this case, no problem. But this new case, I don't know if it's because it's a little thicker or what, but they advertise that it can wirelessly charge with this case on, and it cannot. And it's not my phone, I've already tried. But let's just demonstrate real quick. I have two wirelessly, wireless charging docks, okay? We're gonna go ahead and hook it up, and I'll show you. So, let me just grab the USB-C cable. Um, this is a, I don't, you can't really see it, but it's called a Nanami. And I'm gonna take the 10s Max. Sure enough, charging, no problem. Okay, I don't know if you can see that. Let me see if I can pull the cable. Actually, you know what I'll do? I'll switch cables. That cable's not long enough. Let me just get one that is. That way you can have a proper demonstration of what I'm talking about. Where is... Oh yes, okay, here we go. So... They say Unami, I meant Nanami. So Nanami's a knockoff Chinese brand, I don't care, doesn't matter. So, I'm gonna go ahead and put the 10s Max on here and it's going to say 100% charged. Now, that's great. I now take the new phone with the new case, and what does it do? Well, it doesn't charge. It doesn't do anything. It acts like it's not there. Okay, now we're gonna plug the bootleg. We're gonna plug in the Amazon Basics charging dock, okay? There you go. It went on the wrong way, but there you go. Charging the phone. 13 Pro Max. It blinks in error at the bottom. When your Amazon Basics charging dock blinks, that means there's an error with the connection. Now, we're not done. Let me strip the phone and show you that my charging function works fine. And I, 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 I hate that I have to make this video because I have worshipped UAG for years, since the iPhone 7 Plus. But not today, I just cannot. Man, this case is hard to get off, there we go. So, case is off, phone is naked, plug it in. Look at that, charging just fine without the case on. It will not charge with this case. It just won't, and I hate that UAG advertises that it'll charge with this case. This is the Monarch case from UAG. It's for the 13 Pro and the 13 Pro Max. This is the Pro Max version, obviously, because it's the biggest phone that Apple makes. And this is not wirelessly, uh, wireless charging friendly like they claim on their website. And I called them out on Twitter and there's no response. And I'm not the only one complaining about this new case. It's all over Amazon that this case does not charge the phone. It will not charge it. It is not wirelessly charger friendly. It just won't. So that being said, I'm going to Best Buy and I'll be back with my new case, my new decision, because it's not gonna be UAG, unfortunately. And I hate that, but they are not responding to me on Twitter. They're not responding to any of their customers' complaints. So they need to be called out by little old Danny. And so that's what I'm doing here. So you will see here in a second what I come back with. Stay tuned. Okay, so you're probably wondering, Danny, what happened to the case that you got for your new iPhone when you opened it on camera? It's right here. Uh, it's okay. It's a $17 case, but it's kind of flimsy, kind of cheap. I mean, it is from, what, Subcase? Subcase is a good brand, but it's also a very cheap brand. Uh, it's okay. I, I've, it didn't feel like it was really protecting my phone that well. 
but more for looks than anything because it's blue and my iPhone uh, 13 Pro Max is blue and uh, so I mean that's why I bought it I just wanted a case for the day of um, getting the phone now I will keep this case I'm not gonna take it back it's only again only seventeen dollars so I'll go ahead and keep it just because it was the case I first used when I first got my phone but with that being said this case is being retired um, I guess I'll only ever use it if I absolutely have to um, and so that being said here's the case I went with with the phone yes Apple's own clear case iPhone 13 Pro Max with MagSafe capabilities so uh, yeah and it's right here actually already on my phone so with that being said I did get one more thing because uh, you know it's got MagSafe capabilities might as well get the MagSafe charger so um, yeah we'll open this and we'll try it but first I just want to demonstrate this real quick so here's the Amazon Basics wireless charging dock or cradle or whatever you want to call it and it's, it's lit up blue and it's got power we're going to plug in the 13 or we're going to set the 13 Pro Max on here and oh man look at that charged look at that it's charging the phone isn't that magical so now we're going to take the Nanami cradle or dock or whatever you want to call it again it lights up at the bottom I don't know if you can see that because I have bright lights on but once again we're going to put the iPhone on here with the case oh man charging the phone look at that isn't that magical you would think UAG would just have that but they don't I don't know if their case is too thick or what so anyway enough ranting about it it is what it is I've went off on them twice now on social media and they're not responding and they probably won't so not a big deal um, I will just uh, part ways with UAG not a big deal so let's open up the MagSafe charger real quick just a simple tab pull do that and this thing's only like $39 it's totally affordable honestly look at that love Apple presentation look how beautiful they wrap this cable it's so elegant so nice so tidy you know just unbuckle the little plastic tabs or actually the paper tabs pull that out go over here uh, what do you do here uh, do you do this Let's just pull oh just pull I was making it harder than it was so we're gonna go ahead and hook this up to power real quick which I just happen to have right next to me hopefully this cable is long enough it is okay good so we're gonna hook it up to my USB hub that's connected to my desk oh no we're not USB-C not a big deal uh, do I have a USB-C block yes I do where did I put it I just had it a second ago yesterday hmm where oh where has my USB-C block gone this came with the iPad Pro, I believe. So, USB-C from Apple. I'm pretty sure, yeah, from Apple. Plugs into this. And this plugs into an outlet that's nowhere near me. All right, pretend that it's plugged in. <laughs> but yeah, it's supposed to just, you know, magnetize to the circle on the case. So, I'm gonna pick this up and just boom look at that now if this was plugged in it would say charging but it's not plugged in but I love how it lines itself up automatically very nice very smooth look oh okay not quite but yeah very smooth very nice uh, it does it does line up perfectly with the circleness of it but the, the circleness well wow. but this part doesn't exactly always line up but I don't think it matters you just do that and it still charges so yeah there you go that's MagSafe and MagSafe is important because it charges faster than wireless charging and I'm pretty sure it charges faster than plugging it in as well with a physical cord so I can see Apple getting rid of this port eventually on the bottom I know people want USB-C but I think Apple's gonna skip that all together and just this is the future we're just gonna wirelessly charge or MagSafe charge so 
That's why, that's why I think they're not in a hurry, honestly. That is legit my opinion. I could be wrong, but I feel like they're not in a hurry because they don't have to be if they're just going to get rid of that port altogether. And I can see them doing that. They got rid of all the other ports and a bunch of other devices like, you know, headphone jack. Yeah, 30 pins now lightning, obviously, but uh, yeah. The only thing I think of is a headphone jack at the moment. So anyway, they have been known to get rid of ports over the years. I know with the iMac, what they get rid of? The dial-up port, I believe, and it had only Ethernet. I'm talking about the iMac from 1998. So that was ahead of its time back then because everybody was still on dial-up at the time. And they said, nah, broadband, Ethernet, you know, whatever. Thank you guys so much for watching. I do appreciate this, uh, your support. Thank you for watching this video. I was about to say I do appreciate this video, but I'm the one making it, so of course I appreciate it because I made it. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Uh, stay away from UAG until they can fix their crap. I don't know if they ever will, but I can imagine their returns are going to be high if they're not already, uh, which is a shame because, again, the 10s Max forever has had a UAG case, which allows you to wirelessly charge. Why the new one doesn't is beyond me. I think it's too thick, and I don't think they realize that yet. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video. Take care. Have a good night.